Good morning everyone. We now come to cholenchyma. Cholenchyma are simple permanent tissues. They are composed of elongated cells. They are thickened with cellulose at the corners. You all can see the wall thickenings. Yes, that is they are thickened with cellulose. Then there is no intercellular spaces. You cannot see any intercellular spaces between them. The nucleus, the vacuole, the cytoplasm over here. Yes, the cell wall. Yes, wall thickenings. The word colon means glue. Cholenchyma, they also consist of living cells which are modified to provide mechanical strength. Now, cholenchyma, they provide flexibility to soft aerial parts like the leaves and young stems so that when they bend, they don't break. Okay, so it provides flexibility to these soft aerial parts so that these parts, they bend easily without breaking then we come to the functions now cholenchyma it provides mechanical support protection and flexibility to the plant organs now we come to the last type of simple permanent tissue that is clarenchyma Scleros means heart. Now sclerenchyma, they are composed of dead, highly thick-walled cells. Evenly, these cells, they are evenly thickened with lignin. Now lignin is a substance that acts like cement. It hardens the cell wall. Now you can see the cell wall containing lignin. Lignified secondary wall thickening. Sclerenchyma, they are of two types. Fibers, sclerenchyma fibers and sclerites. Now, sclerenchyma fiber, they are made up of single-celled, long and narrow cells. They occur in sheets or bundles. Then, sclerites, they are short and broad, highly thick-walled sclerenchyma cells. They are also called as stone or grit cells. Sclerenchyma tissues are present in stems, veins of leaves, heart covering of seeds and nal, and the husk of coconut. Flax and jute, that is the fiber yielding plants, they have this tissue in abundance. Now we come to functions of sclerenchyma. Now firstly, they provide strength to the plants. Then they enable them to bear various stresses. Now various stresses here means the harsh climatic conditions and other things. Then they form a protective covering around seeds and nuts. If any doubts, Anywhere, do let me know. Thank you.